Hello everyone, how we doing today? I'm coming to you with a thank you card and this card right here is going to have no die cutting machines. Today I am using this die set from my creative time with Emma and what I wanted to do was make a thank you card. So I ended up using the dies out of the set so I used the thank you dies and what I did was I cut them out five times so it kind of favors like a chipboard type of, of feel. So let's get started. This is going to be really quick, guys, because like I said, I'm not really doing anything uh, extravagant. It's just going to be a simple card. So I have this black card stock. And this card stock is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And I already got the inside getting ready to get be put together. So for the inside, I have this metallic kind of cardstock and I end up getting that which that is um, from Basil and it's called Her Majesty and this is sort of like a shimmer paper guys and it's gorgeous gorgeous and it is so gorgeous embossed okay wait until you and see this okay and then I have this white embossed paper I don't know if you guys can actually see oh let me focus it in a little bit and as you can see this uh, paper right here is embossed, and that paper is from American Craft, and it's called The Mask. And I got this from Tuesday morning for $5, and you get 60 sheets, guys, okay? And they're embossed, and it's gorgeous, gorgeous. And I also got that in black, too, as that is my card base. You see my card base is the same. It has that damask on it and is embossed. And it's very light, but it it has a design on it, which is really cool. So now I'm just going to put these two images together. And then we're going to put them in the inside of my card. I end up cutting out a little trim to add in the middle. So I cut this trim out at one and a quarter by 3.75. And then I end up using... my hold on a second American craft glitter and it's the glitter strips and stuff so I end up using that and I had one in black so here goes the inside so now I'm just going to add some glue to this and adhere it to the middle and then the font the, the stamps that I used was this stamp set from TPC studio it says some people make the world more special just being in it and I'm thankful to have you and then I end up using this other friskers I think this is a friskers or no this is an inky dicky do stamp set and I end up doing the flower set right here on the edge so now I'm just gonna take my trim and I'm gonna position it right under my sentiment <clears throat> and making sure that it's even and then now I'm just going to press down on it. And for some reason, my card don't look straight. So let me redo it and make sure that everything lines up perfect. And that looks a little bit better. And now we're just going to add this to the inside of my card base. And then we're going to start doing the front of the card. So now I just want to line this up. And I think that looks good right there. And that's what the inside looks. And I thought it looks really good. I can probably put... No, I don't want to put this on the inside because then it'll just be too much. So what I might do is I do have these sequences and this is a silver one and I think I'm going to add one right there to the corner. So I'm going to get my quick dry. And that looks perfect right there. I'm just going to push it down. Then 
then I also have these little tiny I guess you would call them pearls yeah I think you could call them pearls and I'm just gonna get a bluish one and I'm just gonna add that in the middle And they're sticky, but I also have glue in the middle that's, that popped up. And that's if I could get this off of my finger. Okay, and then I'm just going to get one more. Then I'm just going to lay that one straight down. Gonna press on it a little bit. And then press on that one a little bit, and that looks good. Okay, so there goes the inside of the card, guys. Now let's start decorating the outside. Now for the outside, I have the white embossed paper, and I'm going to adhere this straight down. And like I said, guys, this is going to be really simple, really easy. And my tape is going all over the place because I don't have my thing on here. Okay. So now I'm just going to add this layer to the inside of my card making sure that it's lined up the way I want it and that looks good okay so let me rub that extra glue now for that I end up using that same color majestic her majesty paper and what I did was I used my next level we are memory keepers woven uh, embossing folders and this is what it looks like, guys. Tell me that ain't awesome. I mean, this is amazing. You're going to either use it on this side, but this side gives it more detail. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add glue to the back. And I'm going to kind of add glue all over because when you emboss paper, it tends to rise up. And then it's hard to adhere. Okay. And now that I got that, and let me just add some glue to the sides. And then I also, to be on the safe side, because I want to make sure that this is going to stay, I'm just going to add just a little bit of quick dry. Okay. So now I'm just going to take my cut, and I'm going to rub it down on the edge. Not rub it down, but go to the edge of the white paper from one end to the other and press on it lightly just holding on to it look at how cool that looks guys oh my god i just love it okay now i have a couple more of those uh sequins and i'm just gonna randomly throw them around that one I might have put too much. And then I'm going to throw one right here. One right here. And I got these sequences from, I think it was Tuesday morning. And it was like a bag of sequins for 79 cents. And here goes the sequins that they look like. I have this one container and they come in gold and silver. And then I also have them in plain white. And it's like a iridescent white. And this one I'll just put right here in the corner. Okay. So that looks really good. So now that I got that down, the next thing is to just add my sentiment. 
Okay, now for my sentiment, like I said, I end up using the My Creative Time with Emma, and I cut the thank you out five times. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Like I was saying, I end up using the My Creative Time with Emma thank you die, and I cut the die out at five different times. Now, five times because I want it to make sort of like a chipboard. Let me see if I could catch the... It's not going to do it. Okay. That's as close as I could get it, guys. But I wanted it to be thick. So I ended up cutting it five times to kind of make a chipboard. There you go. You can see it a little bit better. So I ended up cutting that out of thank you five times and the you. I mean the thank five times and the you five times. So now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to adhere it right over here. And like I said, it's going to be really simple and quick and easy and those embossing folders I just love them if you guys been with me a while I'm not too king on those embossing folders because for some reason it just but this one right here is it's just off the chain I love it love it love it okay so now I just added glue to the back and now Gonna kind of line up the thank you, making sure that it's lined up and that I stay in frame first of all. Okay, so I'm just gonna touch on that. Then I've got the other piece that I'm gonna add some glue. Thank God I didn't add a whole lot of glue to that. Okay, and then I'm just going to add the thank you right in the middle. I mean the you right in the middle of thank. But I want to bring it down a little bit. I don't want it to be that close. I think that looked good right there. And there goes my card, guys. It's quick, simple, and easy. And, I mean, it's quick. I mean, really quick. And it says, thank you. Some people make the world more special just by being it. And I'm thankful to have you. So there goes my card guys. I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, please thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, share. I so do appreciate your support and I'll talk to you guys soon. You guys have a blessed day now. Bye now.